This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's um, let's talk about how you rate the show. The readers of the Observer gave it fifty-two point nine percent thumbs up, only twenty-four point five percent thumbs down, twenty-two and a half percent thumbs in the middle. What say you, Arn? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. Well, it's not about the talent and how hard they worked and how much thought they put into everything. Or certainly the producers, agents had their hands full that day trying to compare notes and not do duplicate spots or duplicate anything, try to keep it all looking different in each match. But the fact is four of two of four fatal four ways is too many. It just is. And just to look at it on paper, you should be able to look at that and go, this is just too much, guys. What, I mean, let's just say you had four cage matches. Would that feel like a lot to you? Well, that's the thing. They routinely do that on these Hell in a Cell shows or Elimination Chamber shows or over in TNA. They call it lockdown. But the point is the same. It's too much. You know, moderation's the key to life, uh, is the old catchphrase. And yeah, I feel like this is just too much of the same thing. Well, you know, just because they do it don't mean it's right. Right. And if you have two ladder matches, two TLC matches on one show, that's too many. If you have two cage matches on a show, that's one too many. You know, gimmick matches are to serve a purpose, and it's for a blow-off of an angle. It needs to make sense. And if you do just continue to do gimmick matches month after month, oh, it's, I think you've said this last week, oh, it's a certain month, we need to do this. Yeah. You know, if that's what your thinking is and that's what your creative is and that's your brilliance, oh, it's September, we need to have this, no matter what else you got going on that may have flamed up on the TV show, well, you're just acting foolish. You know, you need to assess, stop sometimes, and just assess on who's getting over when nobody really planned for him to get over. It just happened, but take notice of it. Take these, you know, as just a rule of booking. And, you know, I don't claim to be a booker, but I have been around a lot of them and some of them that really knew what they were doing. The fact of the matter is, instead of having the five same guys go out and carry six segments of Raw or eight segments of Raw every Monday, spread that time around and Let's get to know some of this young talent and let them beat some other guys that can perform that haven't been on the TV show in months. But you know can go out and carry their end. Let these guys talk on TV. You know, Give them the opportunity to go out there and hit a grand slam or hit a dribbler down the, you know, right back to the pitcher. But that's the only way they're going to learn. It's the only way they're going to get over. And, you know, it's just... This business is based on each guy or girl that come through or woman that come through that shoot. You should look at them and look in their eyes and they should have a look that I belong. I'm a star. Let me show you what I got. And it should be a confidence and they should be able to step through those ropes and whatever they give you should be from them, not from some creative place. And uh, until you start spreading that around, you're going to have a limited number of guys that matter, and you're going to have a long list of guys and women that nobody knows who they are. And to have a locker room full of those folks, I'm not sure is the best way to keep your business fresh, keep your business fun to watch, and have enough stars on there that you don't get tired of seeing the top, top guys. The, um, the readers chose Evan Bourne and Chris Jericho as the match of the night. Would you agree? You know what? The readers are always right. Well, they're the ones, they're the ones that enjoyed it. So I'll agree with them. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.